Repeat the words for an amusement park and for a fair. Der Freizeitpark. Der Vergnügungspark. Der Hummelplatz. Der Jahrmarkt. And repeat the other amusement park vocabulary that we learned in the last lesson. Die Achterbahn. Die Wasserrutsche. Die Geisterbahn. Das Riesenrad. Das Karussell. Die Schießbude. Die Spielbude. Der Lukas. Der Autoscooter. Der Luftballon. Die Zuckerwatte. Das Windrädchen. Der kandierte Apfel. Das Popcorn. Die Brezel. Die Erdnuss. Let's do that one in the plural. Die Erdnüsse. Die Eistüte. Der Lucha. Good. To talk about riding the different rides at the amusement park, we need a verb that you've already learned. The verb fahren. You've learned it. Ich fahre, du fährst, er fährt, sie fährt, es fährt, wir fahren, ihr fährt, sie fahren. And you've learned the past tense of it as well. Ich bin gefahren, du bist gefahren, er ist gefahren, wir sind gefahren, ihr seid gefahren, and sie sind gefahren. It is a strong verb. It ends in en in the past participle, gefahren, and it's a verb that takes sein as the helping verb, as you see. Now, as you look here, here's the verb fahren again. You see the er, sie, and s form in parentheses, fährt, in the present tense. Fuhr is the imperfect tense, and I told you that once we've learned the imperfect tense, I would show you the imperfect form as well, even though we won't be using it. And iskafaren is, again, the conversational past tense. Now, to talk about riding a ride at the amusement park, we use the word faren plus the word mit plus the dative case, because mit always takes the dative case, where dare becomes dame, das becomes dame, and die becomes dare. So, Say, I'm riding and I rode the roller coaster. Ich fahre mit der Achterbahn. Ich bin mit der Achterbahn gefahren. Say, you're riding and rode the Ferris wheel. Du fährst mit dem Riesenrad. Du bist mit dem Riesenrad gefahren. Say, he's riding the merry-go-round and she rode the merry-go-round. Er fährt mit dem Karussell. Sie ist mit dem Karussell gefahren. Say, so we're riding and rode the bumper car. Wir fahren mit dem Autoscooter. Wir sind mit dem Autoscooter gefahren. Say, so you in formal plural are riding and rode the ghost ride. Ihr fahrt mit der Geisterbahn. Ihr seid mit der Geisterbahn gefahren. Say they are riding the roller coaster, and perhaps you formal rode the Ferris wheel. Sie fahren mit der Achterbahn. Sie sind mit dem Riesenrad gefahren. Good. Now let's review a verb you've learned before as well. The verb mögen, to like something. You've learned these forms. Repeat them quickly after me. How to say I like something, you like something. Ich mag. Du magst. Er mag. Wir mögen. Ihr mögt. Sie mögen. You remember this verb being irregular, how the, the singular side, the ich form, the du form, the er, sie, and s form have an a instead of the o umlaut. The ich form doesn't have an e on the end, and the er, sie, and s form doesn't have a t on the end. As a matter of fact, the ich form and the er, sie, and s form are the same. And again, it's a way to say, I like something. I like this food, perhaps. Now, I'm going to show you a different form of the verb. It's something called the subjunctive, and I'm not going to get into the subjunctive exactly, other than to show you the subjunctive forms of this verb, which are commonly used in German. It's a way to say, I would like something, as a polite request. Like, I would like some cotton candy. I would like some candy, period. I would like, repeat these forms after me. Ich möchte. Du möchtest. Er möchte. Wir möchten. Ihr möchtet. Sie möchten. Good.
Notice these irregularities, the letters CH are in all forms all the way through. But again, this is something called a subjunctive, and without going into greater detail about the grammar of it, this is again how to say, I would like something, as a polite request. I would like something, not I want, but I'd like something. So, say, I'd like cotton candy, as a matter of fact, as a statement of generality, I like cotton candy, but the second one says, I would like a cotton candy. So this is something you would like right now. You're asking mom or dad for one, or someone else for one. Repeat the two forms. Ich mag Zuckerwatte. Ich möchte eine Zuckerwatte. Good. Say you like balloons, just a general statement. You do like balloons, talking to a friend, family member, child, and you would like a balloon. Du magst Luftballons. Du möchtest einen Luftballon. Good. Say he likes popcorn and she would like popcorn. Er mag popcorn. Sie möchte popcorn. Say we like candy apples. Generally, that's, we like them whenever we're at the amusement park. But now we would like a candy apple. Ready? Wir mögen kandierte Äpfel. Wir möchten einen kandierten Apfel. Say you, in formal plural, like suckers, just in general, and you would like a sucker. Ihr mögt Lutscher. Ihr möchtet einen Lutscher. Say they like peanuts, and perhaps you, formal, would like an ice cream cone. Sie mögen Erdnüsse. Sie möchten eine Eistüte. Good job. Auf Wiedersehen.